I have been playing rise of kingdoms since October 25th, 2018. That's over five years. And I have 1,942 consecutive login days. And since the very beginning of my rise of kingdoms journey, there has been one thing that has never changed. And that is their insane marketing department. Some of the ads for rise of kingdoms are so ridiculous that they're actually hilarious. And if you haven't seen this ad yet, make sure you stay tuned because this is, I mean, I, I have no words, but for first what's going on guys cheers before we jump in 69 percent of you guys are not subscribed so consider going down there clicking the button and dropping a thumbs up on the video let me respawn in rome please i don't know about you guys but the uh geography seems a little bit off here i don't know yes i'm gonna be rich i have seen way too many cartoons in my childhood to not remember that's gotta be from tom and jerry right that's straight from tom and jerry ouch what's that it's a diamond whoa she is stunning cleopatra do be kind of thick though she i mean let's be real oh she winked at him oh look at the hard eyes okay be my girl babe your diamond is tiny come on ladies i thought size didn't matter i mean you know it's it's all about love you know what i'm saying clearly you know nothing about strategy oh darn it ah oh, here comes the giga chat himself get lost you loser <laughs> i gotta become super rich yo they sent him blasting off again bro that's straight from pokemon i found water it's mine now everyone else must pay me to use it now i can make easy money my dream has come true i'm rich now well that was quick i mean damn we become too rich and people want to plunder us what should we do we need strategies to become more powerful this is literally the special tier 5 unit from egypt and this dude said he landed in rome he's a straight he's lying brother become more powerful we pay our allies to protect us oh maybe he landed in rome but he was a broke boy and then giga chad caesar kicked him out now he's in egypt but the special unit's still with rome i don't okay then we can build more camps and produce more weapons you are the Smartest. Bro, what's going on with her eyes? It's like they're literally gouged out. It's like they're just uh, empty eye sockets. They're like just bruises on the front of her head. This is actually terrifying. Did the CGI team like run out of time? They're like, well, we don't have time to put the eyeballs in her in her model. So I mean, it is what it is. And look, now she cares about his smarts. Before, I thought it was just about the size of the diamond. Like, what's going on, Cleopatra? You kind of kind of flip flop on a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, hey, my dude is actually balling out of absolute control here. He's got the thumb ring, brother. <laughs> Crossplay now available. I don't know if it's brain damage, but I actually, I actually like these ads. I genuinely like these. Boarding group one. We'll begin by boarding our top players, King and Duke. You may now board. That's the top players, 20 million power and 10 million power. That's a small kingdom if I've ever seen one. Okay. Next, we'd like to welcome players choosing Vikings and Rome. What? I'm boarding group one. I'm trying to understand the plot line here. So the, the implication is that you, by being good at Rise of Kingdoms, get priority boarding on airplanes. Who is the target demographic for this ad? Like, is it Instagram users who fly often? Like, what? Why do they all get to go on first? Because you're not a VIP. I'm a top player with 30 million power using Egypt. I'm kind of surprised, but it actually looks like he is using Egypt. It looks like there was some consistency there, even though clearly the uh, the gameplay was added in post. He's clearly just holding up a blank phone and they just used the power of video editing to put it in there. That's actually kind of funny now that I think about it, but it's actually accurate. Like he actually has 30 million power in the screenshot. It's just funny that it doesn't really doesn't really fit the phone very well, but that's okay. Bro, look at the gems. The digits are so tiny. He must have like 900 million. You're kidding me, right? Not kidding. No civilization is stronger or weaker in Rise of Kingdoms. And if you want to win, not true, brother, not true. Anyone who's played the game for more than like two weeks knows that like if you if you started as Japan, you're going to have a bad time. OK, it's true. They're micro optimizations. But let's be real. There is a meta using technology and choose Egypt as I did. See, this ad knows that these dudes are from Egypt. How'd they get it wrong in the other one? With Egypt's technology and building speed bonuses, my technology developed faster than other civilizations in the game except for Korea. Korea has a better technology speed bonus, but whatever. So I was able to unlock the iron working technology earlier. This helped me upgrade to a new age and unlock the unique elite unit. Ho -ho! With the Egyptian archers attack bonus, as well as the most advanced weapons. Why is this not a mini game in the actual game? Like give me a tower defense mini game, Rise of Kingdoms. Like, like this looks sick. I became unstoppable on the battlefield. 
Bro, can you imagine how sick it would be if your city was getting rallied and like depending on your city skin, like the top of it just exploded in a freaking they literally kamehameha these dudes. Rest in peace, by the way. On the battlefield. Crossplay now available. I like Tao Tao over here. He's just like, saw it. As a quick side note, though, I feel like it's gotten shockingly complicated to board a plane. Like, if you are main cabin, you would think that it's like first class boards, then business class, then main cabin. Why would it not be main cabin? But no, there's like nine fucking groups that are going to go before you if you're main cabin. Main cabin means you're broke, okay? First, there's first class, business class, frequent fires, VIP program members, like Sapphire or whatever. Dude, it's, it's crazy. I don't get it. Why is it so hard? We got another live action one going on here. Okay. Hey, Dad. In all of history, which civilization is the most powerful? Ah, uh, I feel kind of bad watching this. I, uh, didn't this guy's son recently? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You're telling me this dude defeated CPO Africanus? The legendary CPO Africanus? Actually, hang on. This dude said this is actually a good ad. So I have high hopes at this point. Okay, let's, let's see. Nice job, kiddo. This is a civilization reward for you. Just give me a random one. I can dominate with any civilization. Well, you randomly got Arabia. A prosperous ancient civilization was born here over a thousand years ago, but its glory was overshadowed by the desert climate. Is this an educational ad? Like, are we just learning today? Is that, is that what, is that it? And also I didn't realize this dude says, I don't know what these are talking about in the comments, but this ad's horrible. So I, okay, I guess my expectations are a little bit lower again. The people are suffering from severe water shortages. How would you deal with it? Ah, I have an idea. We have the numerical system. Just so you guys know, that's not actually a technology in Rise of Kingdoms, okay? And here we have a technology called technology. Nice. Ancient Arabia contributed to and has a great advantage in the numerical system and technology. Okay. With these two skills, I can activate the irrigation system and lead the farmers to- Did he just C4 underground? Did my did my dude just in ancient Arabia C4 a tunnel? I heard beeping. Crude dynamite, uh, you know, the, the types of explosives that they would have back then did not beep, okay? Also, you've got 10 million wood. Where'd you get that if you had no water prior to right now? The canals, turning the desert into an oasis and helping the people get rich. Okay. I can capitalize on the geographical advantages of Eurasia to develop trade and make a lot of money to become a wealthy king. Okay, good then job. I can send envoys to the tribes to promote their development, facilitate communication, and unite them into a powerful alliance. <laughs> bro has a plan. Like, bro legit has a plan. Okay. Oh, glory to Arabia. The that, the CGI here is uncanny. What is what bro what is this this looks like a playstation 2 game legendary civilization of the world dominate with any civilization god bless it must be rome okay Oops. no no i got whose dog is this did the owner of this dog consent to their puppy being used in this ad i'm gonna pet it because it's a good boy and you should definitely like this video if you think this is a good boy oh no i got viking ah! How come all of these ads say that they want to play as Rome? Rome is not like the meta civilization. It's, it's not. Is that just what does best in the ads? I, I don't know. Also, what's going on here? Top bins, top bins, top bins. There's not a soul in this region. I'll just grow quietly. Bro said there's not a soul in the region. H how do you, what? Is this a naturally occurring formation over here? What, who, who built this if not a soul? I mean, okay. To begin with, let's cut some trees. Okay them houses and ships i like the music in this ad not even gonna lie also if there's no souls around where'd you get where'd you get the other two guys huh is a, it's not is there some inconsistencies here okay who would have thought there's a gold mine in the forest jackpot okay the sick. gold for food i've got all the resources to build a viking legion it's lit With the berserkers damage bonus i'm unstoppable what happened to the snow where are we at now this looks like scotland i, I don't or is it ireland i don't know but this, this is very different from where we just were. The queen of Egypt wants to marry me. Cleopatra be simping in all these ads, dude. I'm telling you, the marketing department must have realized that players just want to be with Cleopatra, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> My love life. Hey, she's got eyeballs. Let's go. They actually put them in there. It looks like that's not okay. Crossplay now available. So that was literally a soccer ad.
I'm assuming that they're just putting this in front of a bunch of soccer players but also my love life has finally begun it's like all of these ads are kind of preying on the fact that like are they just putting these ads in front of single people like oh yeah you're you're single and alone and a loser right download rise of kingdoms that's what it seems like to me I mean I don't know who would fall for this if not like chronically online uh simps I, I guess I don't know ain't no way the next ad is a basketball ad and they're all wearing a LeBron James jersey like their marketing department at rise of kingdoms just goes crazy and they're using a doge meme is this a doge meme as long as I throw it into the golden hoop I'll be on my way to Rome another Rome meme and what is with the cats dude it's so cute this makes no sense what no 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 not Egypt I'm done with this game oh, oh well take things as they come why did his voice change let me figure out this strange civilization what's going on with the that looks that looks sick why don't we have a what, we need a city skin that's just like a little demon on top of the city that would be dope why do all these ads act like getting the civilization you want is a roulette wheel you literally download the game you pick you don't gotta get lucky all these ads act like you gotta get lucky to get the right civilization you just brother pick the one you want uh looks like i hit the jackpot the egyptian civilization has a 1.5 percent bonus for both city buildings and research true but that's not as good as you think the main reason I kept getting attacked was because my city's defenses were too weak. But now, with these buffs, I can both build my city quickly and advance up the military tech tree to get advanced troops. I like how they emphasize the building of your city wall as if your city wall in game actually does anything it literally let's just call it what it is okay your city wall is a progression mechanic it literally does it doesn't do anything guys I mean come on like okay they have a function but it, it has nothing to do with the defenses of your city that has all everything to do with your garrison and your your troops even the watchtower does literally nothing in the game I made a video about that a long time ago it literally doesn't do anything it's just a, something you have to progress to get to end game anyway True. With a fortified city and a superb army, I'm no longer afraid of anyone. If you've got 10 million power, you definitely should be afraid of people because you definitely will get attacked. That, and, and matter of fact, you actually might not get attacked because you are such low power that you, there's literally no reason to even hit you. My my far account is 12 million power. Like is this is a literal joke. <sighs> well, now that you've finished fighting, it's my turn. I don't know if I'm ready for this one. This, this is golden. This is going to be golden. I know. I it is. have more power in Rise of Kingdoms, so you should listen to me. Wait right here. I'll be right back. Hey, huh? I'm cringing. I'm cringing. I'm cringing. Stop. No. 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 Bro. No. You know, I have five million power in Rise of Kingdoms, so uh, I was about to teach you a few things. I'm going to literally vomit. Oh. Who's this chump? Some noob trying to teach me how to play Rise of Kingdoms. <laughs> I am not a noob. I can't do this. I literally cannot do this. This is so bad. Really? Because you need 10 million power to join our alliance. They're trying to act like this dude has this many KVK wins if the power requirement is only 10 million. And also, again, it's literally not even on the phone screen, brother. It is literally just sloppily edited in there. I can't. I can't. Why were you talking about low power? We were just discussing how to work together more effectively. Rise of Kingdoms is a strategy game where teamwork is much more important than the initial choice of civilization. That's actually true. Teamwork is more important than your civilization choice. That is the first true thing that I've heard in any of these ads. We chose Rome, which has a gathering speed bonus they're all rome ads what is it just me like obviously i'm getting all these from instagram and whenever i see these on instagram i save them because it's funny and i wanted to make a video like this but are they just showing me rome ads like are you guys seeing only rome ads i don't get this also this is definitely misleading because this is legendary cpo africanus not the epic version which you do not get this version of cpo by choosing rome to gather resources to upgrade our city and unlock special unit technology sooner this is a cool looking map i want more graphics like this guys this looks like a freaking this looks like the barons in world of warcraft like this is dope and during a smooth transition to the mid game then we sent envoys to dispel the fog and seek a coalition with nearby cities we shared resources and technologies among alliance members and used alliance. i love this i love that they literally just photoshopped the dude from the video like they took a picture of him from the ad and then put it oh my god technologies to raise our level in our future development we can loot nearby resources together and use them to increase our power we'll keep doing this and develop very quickly <laughs> get lost noob <laughs> oh my god 
I am like speechless. I'm like, this is so, this is so bad. This is the type of acting you would expect from like not safe for work content. Also, why does he kind of look like Drake from Drake and Josh? Okay. So we've seen ads for people that are obviously like single and simps, right? Like the multiple ads with Cleopatra being the love interest. Here we see an ad showing the domination of the couple. Is this the type of ad that they would show to somebody that they suspect is in a relationship where they now make fun of the single loser or AKA the noob. The marketing strategy here is, uh, it's something else, boys. James, did you just kick me out of the alliance, bro? Yeah, some uh, 10 million power big shot D killer ass. Stop it. There's no way his name is D killer, brother. How did this get through there? At, like, can we all just agree that D stands for dick? It stands for dick. We know it stands for dick. And what's this alliance, man? What is this? To join in. We were full. Oops, got a split. Wait, what? Later. This is a SpongeBob meme. They literally, this is literally, this is SpongeBob. Also, this is just two pictures of Bjorn. They're, bo they're both Bjorn. Later. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hey, son, so. Dad, you're the D killer with 10 million power? Stop it. Stop it. His literal. You're telling me his father is D killer. Yo, you heard of me. How'd you get so much power so fast? By choosing my civilization wisely. See, I picked Rome, which is bonus. Another Rome ad? Really? Also, they look nothing alike. Isn't isn't red hair? Is this red hair? It looks like red hair. And if so, isn't that a, a recessive gene? In which case, he should have black hair, right? Uh, isn't that how genetics works? I don't know. See, I picked Rome, which has bonuses in troop march speed and gathering speed, allowing me to accumulate a decent amount of resources early in the game. I then upgraded my barracks, the resources, and unlocked the technology of elite Roman infantry. My troop reserve was way ahead of everyone in the mid game. Roman infantry comes with a defense bonus. That is. So these are Spartans, which are from Greece, not, not Rome. Uh, and also are they fighting ninjas? Are these like ninjas in like some sort of Canyon passageway or something like that? Like what's, what's with the witch doctor plague mask going on over here? Compared to Julius Caesar, my Roman troops were able to conquer cities and expand my territory like an unstoppable force. The problem with that is that Julius Caesar is literal trash. He's like one of the worst legendaries in the whole game. That's how I rose to the top. James, know what? D killer's my dad. And now we're on the same team. So you better let me in or we'll crush your soul. I'm literally going to jump out the window. Like what, bro? I just can't imagine seeing an ad like this and downloading the game. I get this. Obviously, maybe it's not targeted towards me. Okay. But like seeing this dude, I'm like, I actually, matter of fact, I don't want to be like this dude. I, I might as well just not download the game. That's, that's how I feel about this. But like, is he wearing contacts? Like, how does he have literal gray eyes? Like, what is, what is going on here? And this, my friends, is D killer. That's right. Killer D, my man over here with the killer D. Oh, sure, man. Also, you going to that party tonight? Yeah, that's my boy. I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream. This is literally, bro. Ah, oh my God. They're not even trying. There's, this is. This is, these are Fiverr actors, right? These are from Fiverr.com. Like did they, they, they go to Timu and, and get actors from Timu? Like, okay, so we had soccer, we had basketball. I guess we're gonna be doing football now. And look, this has 2.7 million views. Let's just go ahead and take a guess real quick. Let's just go ahead and take a guess. What, what do you think the odds are he hits Rome? Huh? What, let's see if he hits Rome. Mother. They didn't even bother to put Arabia. They just put Arab, like bro. Also, who throws footballs at the wall? Let's go! I'm going to the Arab civilization known for its gold resources. Gold resources? Where, bro? Have attack, barb damage, and rally damage. There is literally not a gold bonus for Arabia. No! Not Egypt! Idiot, bro. Sorry, man. The Roman civilization may have many resources, a bonus in collection speed, allowing for faster resource accumulation and city upgrades. That's nice, but that's not the civ that he just got. He just, he got Egypt, so like... But your Egyptian civilization has a talent for technological advancements, allowing for early unlocking of iron smelting and transitioning into the mature cold weapon era. Cold weapon error? 
how did the ad department let 2.7 million people see this like this is edited so poorly bro you could cut this whole section out it's just white wall cut it out like these dudes got paid for this bro like are these guys influencers are they famous for something like are these recognizable people to where like you know someone who sees this ad is going to be like oh like that's so and so from TikTok. like oh i'm gonna try the game because otherwise like if these are just two randos making this video like the video actually just sucks like it just literally sucks left an arrow wow that's not bad like i want to jump in front of a moving train like the the acting is actually atrocious don't worry about it i'm already a high combat player with the combat power of 10 million in rise of kingdoms <laughs> it's so bad that like it is almost good it's so bad it's almost good wow you have such a high combat power like they didn't have a third friend they didn't have a third dude to be like yeah wait a minute wait a minute team summertime this is team summertime which of course everyone loves hitch okay i got a little bit more respect for these dudes okay okay fair enough don't teach us as long as you understand strategic development there are no pros or cons when choosing a civilization technically true late game you might want to change but in the early game it doesn't matter that much although the viking civilization i chose lacks resources it offers a five percent infantry unit attack power buff and a three percent counter attack damage bonus true brother that's a fact they're not good but it's true it excels at attacking cities and territories while others are busy collecting farming resources to improve their combat power i have already obtained a substantial amount of resources to go after the attacks allowing for rapid improvement in combat power I can't actually explain the rage that I feel when I when the acting is so bad it's like I'm actually like offended a little bit like why am I like why why am I even recording this video like what that was it that was the whole that was the whole ad there was not even a call to action it didn't even say download rise of kingdoms like this is what we're left with this is the last frame of the ad so, well, I I yeah. guys guys let's have some fun together okay you can join us only if you win call it heads Tails. bro they didn't even they didn't even record the, that's not real that's literally edited in Tails. what do you what, what do you mean bro what the hold on hold on let's watch it again that's just not even bro stop it stop it you couldn't even record the actual coin it's tails. what it's clearly heads it's tails right yeah. yes what <laughs> i think we're in hell like just I, I just the fact that this is what's considered an advertisement in well this is 2023 we're in 2024 this is actually dystopian like we are actually in hell somebody stepped on a butterfly somewhere along the way and and I'm gonna be honest I think this dude knew he was gonna be in an ad and he wanted to show off the rolling loud shirt let's be real okay you have to know that everybody here has five million powers but you we don't want to hang out with low power players <laughs> This dude says, I think I just lost a lot of brain cells after watching this video. And I can't begin to explain to you guys how strongly I feel about that comment. Like I've never agreed with a comment more. The ad is like doing the opposite, right? Like if I saw this and I knew people like this played the game, I'd be like, oh, I'm definitely not playing that game. Like, okay. okay. Oh, that's really fair. I shouldn't join you. Since I already have 20 million power. What? Giga Chad father. How in the heck did you do that? Because I know the strategy. I began with Japan and gathering speed bonus, which helped me explore and gather resources. Like they're obviously hiring people that literally don't know what they're doing. Like they don't know how to make a video. Like what is this, bro? Also, this isn't even Japan, brother. What is going than my rivals. Then I switched to Germany for my 5% troop train speed bonus. With my Tatar knights trained rapidly. Okay, that part of the ad is actually accurate. People do often switch back to Germany in between KV so they can train a little bit more I outmatch everybody trying to take me down what is what is this why are you like what why are you throwing up gang signs like you're obviously 45 that's fine I'm almost 30 and I'm gonna be 45 and in, in very soon I know I can feel it in my lower back so I don't want to make fun of you for that because I I empathize I'm getting old too but like stop with the with the gang gang brother like yeah see i wouldn't download the game i would see that and be like i actually like this ad makes me want to smoke cigarettes bro like i want to start like i want to shorten my life okay i saved this one for last because this ad i think went viral for being absolutely horrendous if you guys have seen skibbity toilet you're gonna know what this is okay So, okay. So we've got Pelagius, his just his long head and neck sticking out of a treasure chest, pecking a tier three archer to death. Oh, oh, ah! 
And then the most demonic looking El Cid that I've ever seen in my life jumps on top of the wall and gets his ass beat. This is literally nightmare fuel. This is literally what my nightmares are made of. Where else is there to aim? They are only heads. Wait, Julius Caesar is involved now. Okay. I literally just threw up in my mouth. Like we're watching a skibbity toilet. Bro. Oh my God. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. Like I can't, I can't do this. It's just, it's just like the lack of self-awareness that has to be involved for a marketing department. I mean, I guess it worked because it went kind of viral, but like I am losing faith in humanity by the second. They're marketing it as if it's like a tower defense game, but like, there's no gameplay like this in, in I shouldn't have to tell you that, but this is, this is like not, this is not a thing. That's it. What did we do as a species to where this is now a thing, right? Like skibbity toilet was wild all on its own. Like the fact that that's a thing is unbelievable, but this, I want to die. I literally want to die. I can't, I, I'm actually out of words. I am left speechless by a rise of kingdoms advertisement brother in Christ. Anyway, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps out the channel a ton. And I'm like actually mentally exhausted from watching these ads. Like I like making these videos for you guys, but also like this feels like mental torture. Like I'm literally torturing myself for your viewing pleasure. So please subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, drop a comment down below. What do you think of these ads? Would you ever download a game with ads like this? Like, please, I need to know who this is working on because clearly they keep putting out ads and it's like what is what how is this working anyway with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace